So he gets down from the top of a building onto a horse across the city and up another building in the same time it took them to fly a helicopter. He does, <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's going on my golden people and welcome back to PLC85. Hey, if you're new, consider subscribing. We do everything new with gaming and funny reaction videos. Today we'll be reacting to the Army of the Dead pitch meeting by Screenrant. Guys, let's get inside this funny reaction video by Ryan George and Screenrant. Spoilers ahead. So, you have a zombie movie for me? Yes, sir, I yes, do. Sir, and you've I never do. seen zombies like this before. How's that? Mostly out of focus. What? Oh, yeah, we're gonna do practically every shot with super shallow depth of field and really blurry background. <laughs> Sounds a little distracting. I've actually never it might seen this be. one. So, so anyway, there's see. gonna be the zombie outbreak in Vegas, right? So the government basically walls up the city to contain the spread. Smart. And they declare it's no longer part of America. Well, why was that necessary? Unclear. So eventually the government decides to nuke the city to kill all the zombies. Okay. But this casino owner, Tanaka, has $200 million in a vault under his casino, so he approaches this former mercenary, Scott Ward. Oh, and he tells him to assemble a team? He does, <laughs> so Scott needs some teammates. He needs a safe cracker, obviously. I thought it was Tanaka's vault. Can't he give them the code? No. Okay. And they also need a helicopter pilot. Oh, they can fly in. That'll be helpful. No, see, the government doesn't actually allow people to fly into Vegas. It's restricted airspace. But they can fly out? Yeah, sure, I don't care. So Tanaka <laughs> also adds his own head of security, oh, Martin, to the is team. This. this guy's real suspicious. Oh, sounds suspicious. He is. So they head to Vegas, and Scott's estranged daughter, Kate, forces herself into the movie because she has a friend that's inside the city. Sure, she may as well be in the movie. Oh, she will be, and she's gonna get everybody killed. Oh, my God. So they head into the quarantine zone, and they see a zombie queen and a zombie tiger, both of which were turned by an alpha zombie. Oh, that biting tigers cool. is tight. <laughs> then they're gonna stumble upon a bunch of zombies that are hibernating. Oh, zombies hibernate. Some of them do, sir, because as I was writing this movie, I was like, hey, what if zombies did everything? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're talking strong zombies, fast zombies, martial arts zombies, dumb zombies. Okay. Robot zombies. <laughs> what? Yeah, a couple of the zombies will be robots with glowing blue eyes. It's gonna look very cool. What's going on there? It's gonna look very cool. They're robot zombies. <laughs> Why are some of the zombies Zombies, movie. robots. It's gonna look great. I want to okay. see it. Oh, we're also gonna mention that a bunch of these zombies got dried out in the sun, but they come back to life when it rains. Oh, a very cool concept. I bet that's gonna come into play later. It won't. Oh. And we're gonna have this guy Vandero keep bringing up this saw that he loves to use. Oh, probably gonna be a crazy scene of him using that later, huh? Ah, there won't be. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's like the famous Chekhov's gun writing advice, right? If in the first act you show a gun on the wall, then in the second act just kind of have a good time. That's not how that goes. Anyway, so eventually this girl Chambers tells Martin, like, hey, I know you're up to something, dude. Right. So then Martin locks her in a room with some zombies, but she manages to jump through a window near the group. Oh, so they rescue her? No, nobody does anything to help her, despite her being just a few feet away from them. They just watch her get killed. But she must yell something about Martin before getting killed. She doesn't know, but her friend Mikey accuses Martin. He's like, you clearly had something to do with this. Does Mikey do anything about it? He doesn't know. They're not gonna talk about it again. Was everybody in the group just not suspicious of Martin or something? No, they definitely were. Some of them even discussed how it might be best if this guy died. So, okay. And so eventually this guy is gonna <laughs> cut the head off of the queen zombie. Oh, why does he do that? Well, he reveals that this entire mission was actually about getting this zombie head. His boss doesn't actually care about the money. This is worth more. Well, why didn't Tanaka just hire people to do that? Why plan a fake heist? So the movie can happen. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I guess this guy takes off with the head. No, he goes back to the heist, even though they were standing right next to where they entered the quarantine zone. Oh, interesting choice. So then the safe cracker guy and Vanderhoe try to open the safe, right? Right. 
but this thing has like pressure activated booby traps, so they can't just walk up to it. So what do they do? Well, they start trying to trick a zombie into activating the traps, but it's hard to do because zombies are dumb and they keep turning towards them. Can't they just throw a dead zombie or a dead zombie limb? Probably, but they're not going <laughs> to do that. Instead, they're going to microwave a zombie hand and use that to trick a zombie into going to eat it. What do you mean? Well, the idea is that zombies are attracted to warm flesh. Doesn't that mean that all the zombies outside in the scorching hot Las Vegas sun would constantly <laughs> be trying to eat each other? I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. So anyway, eventually they get the safe open and there's $200 million in $100 bills, just stacks of cash. Oh, I feel like that what probably gonna do weighs with it, thousands of pounds. Yeah, probably. So how do they plan on getting literal tons of cash and themselves on a single helicopter out of the city in one shot? Well, they brought backpacks. That'll do it. And then they also find out that the nuke has been pushed forward by a day, so they have like an hour to get out of the city. Oh no. So then this girl Maria decides that this is a good time to stop everything and talk to Scott about her feelings. Oh, can't that wait 45 minutes? Yeah, well she's actually about to die, so we kind of have to make people care about the death scene that's about to happen. Maybe you should set that up before this scene. Maybe, but I'm not gonna. Well, okay then. And Scott's daughter, she takes off. Well, why? A bomb is about to level the city. Well, she wants to go save her friend in a super far away building. Okay, even if she finds her friend and even if her friend is alive, what's the plan to get out of the city without the helicopter? Unclear. <laughs> huh. So then Scott and the pilot take off in the helicopter across the city to try and rescue her and her friend who she somehow did manage to find. Okay. And the alpha zombie, he's watching them fly away from the helipad and he's very angry. He wants to kill them very much. Well, it's going to be hard for him to catch up with a helicopter. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, he has a zombie horse. So he gets down from the top of a building onto a horse across the city and up another building in the same time it took them to fly a helicopter. He <laughs> did, yeah, so then they fly away again, but the Alpha jumps on board and the nuclear bomb explodes. Oh, wow, 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 wow. And Scott manages to kill the Alpha, but then the helicopter crashes and pretty much everyone dies except Kate. Well, what about her friend she was trying to save, the one whose rescue drove the entire last part of the movie? Oh, unclear. We're not even gonna show her. Oh, that's a little frustrating. So then after the blast, that guy Vandero gets out of the safe, which that safe cracker guy had pushed him into to save him. Okay. And he just kind of walks out of the burning city and through the desert. What about Fallout? I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good game, I guess. <laughs> not relevant here. That's not. And so he gets on a plane and he realizes he's been bitten. <laughs> what? How long is it taking him to turn? I, like I know, that. right? I oh, and also we're going to play that song Zombie from the Cranberries. Ooh, wasn't that song written in response to a tragedy where some children were killed? Well, that's a good point, but counterpoint, it has the word zombie in it. Well, yeah, no, that is a good point, too. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like mindless zombie fun. I'm just really stuck on that robot thing. What's going on there? We're really not going to explain that? Well, see, here's the thing. I was thinking maybe we could expand on that in another project. Maybe several projects. Cinematic universe? Cinematic universe, sir. Oh, man, you said the magic words. Let's do it. You know what? I've never seen the Army of the Dead, but now I kind of want to see it. The robot zombies, the ninja zombies, the kung fu zombies, the 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 smarts and dumbs. Like I I like that. It's quirky and kind of stupid, but it was funny. I like the whole Fallout joke. That's a pretty good game. <laughs> It was a At least follow 76. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about this Army of the Dead. I'm gonna have to go watch it and then probably re-watch this pitch meeting to probably get some of the jokes. Guys, don't forget, we have other reaction videos that you can go check out. Fun with Will and Ali, we got some gaming. And hit that nice button over there and you can definitely subscribe. Guys, don't forget, my name is Will, and where there's a will, there's a way. Stay golden, my friends, and thank you for watching.